Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, inspiration, education, guidance, advice, and continuing with the, uh, with the uh, passage uh, in Deuteronomy saying, I have, see, I have uh, put before you a blessing and a curse. I am uh, reminded of a conversation I once had with a very perceptive young lady who said to me with respect to this uh, verse, Deuteronomy 11, chapter, uh, 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 chapter 11, verse 26, see, I am placing before you today a blessing and a curse. And she says, why the see? The re'e, which is the title of the, the Parsha, Parsha's re'e. That's the see in Parsha's re'e. Why? Why didn't it just say, I am placing before you um, today a blessing and a, uh, and a curse? It would be Parsha Sanochi or whatever. And I says, you think that's strange? How about this? The imperative, the word see, that's in the singular. But a couple of words later, when it says, I am placing before you, lifnechem, that's plural. He starts off singular, and a couple of words later, he's in plural. How about that? Um, she rolled her eyes. And I said, well, um, here's one way of looking at it. It was um, Harav David uh, Feinstein who pointed out that the concept of a blessing, it's up to the individual. What someone who, who values uh, his health that's a blessing. Someone who is struck with uh, an illness, he may view that as a blessing because it would uh, get him to reevaluate his lifestyle, maybe look into his health, maybe you know, avert something. That's a, that's a blessing. Some people view riches and possessions as blessings. Others view children um, as blessings. Highly individual. Um, The list goes on. The view of whether it is a blessing or a curse usually um, is consistent with the type of person that's viewing in the eyes of uh, the beholder. Moshe Rabbeinu, when he, uh, Moses, when he addressed everyone and said, see in the singular, he's referring to how each individual person views it, whether it's a blessing or whether it's a curse. Sometimes it's an out-note blessing. Sometimes it's a hidden blessing. And sometimes what appears as a blessing is actually a curse. It starts off great and very rapidly uh, turns into something um, absolutely uh, horrible. Um, and, like I said before, sometimes horrible things are actually blessings in disguise. It comes out in the fullness of time that, thank God, this happened because... Um, It was rough at the time, but in the end, everything uh, worked out better than I had uh, ever hoped. Um, you have the opportunity, please God, you have an opportunity to enjoy the blessings and see how these things actually uh, play out. Um, if you leave, if you live a good life, Regardless of the temporary hardships, things will pan out the way God has intended them to. Um, to those of us who are more aware of the presence of God and the Word of God, these things uh, become obvious. Those who refuse or who are unable to see, their eyes are closed. They don't see the hand of God. Um, in these things. Uh, it's hidden. Um, Hashem will ultimately give us the opportunity to see the blessing and acknowledge its true benefit. Um, may we all have that kind of uh, foresight and insight. We're going to be doing more uh, videos along these lines. Please come back, please watch, please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.